Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Body's uh, Life. Today's video, and yes, I am back after a couple of months now. Ah, uh, it's happened again. The roof on the set has caved in again. Yesterday, I went out there, got the snow wake, and waked all the snow off of it, and tried pushing it back into shape. It's still screwed up, so I gotta find something to keep that roof from coming completely in. I'll meet you guys out there to show you what my idea is. I am back. I'm inside the shed now. My dope bike's actually in here. My Yamaha. It just won and drive now. I have fixed it. I wish I made some videos about it. I was gonna, but they didn't come out good at all, so... You can see I've kind of tried pushing it back into shape. This main beam here in the middle is just completely, just completely down. Um, so, and I have my woke stop out here too, but I don't use it guys, it's cold. And you can see, it's completely ripped out of the metal. So I have this jock down here. I got some 2 by 4s and whatnot. I'm gonna lean one up against here. So I'll have it come from down here, all the way across, and come in with a jock down here, and jock it up. And then put a spacer in to hold it up, so it doesn't come back down. This middle beam, same thing, I'm going to want a 2x4 across the whole, <coughs> excuse me, want a 2x4 across this whole beam here, jock it up, put a spacer. And that's how I'm going to hold this roof up over the window. These metal pieces, it's, it's done. It's cracked so many, been out of shape so many times. It's just, it's so weak. I'll put in some pictures of what it looked like yesterday when I came in here. This beam here was bent all the way down to about here. Yeah. This front piece here was bending some of that back piece. This wasn't good. So, as you can see, the doors won't close all the way because this whole piece is just bent out of shape now. I'm surprised yesterday I didn't come in. And I'm saying that because this is pile of stuff here. This roof was laying completely flat on here. This middle piece was completely down. It looked completely flat from the top. It was bad. So, yeah, I'm gonna get some 2 by 4s and try jocking these up. Hey, I'm back in the shed now. And I found a couple of pieces. I found this big long one, which is gonna be the one standing up like that. And I found these two bolts, which are gonna be the ones. So, if you notice up on this beam, it's okay. I mean, it's bent like heck, but it's okay. Big kink. Right there is a big kink. And then the rest of it's all good. As you can see. But right there is where the big kink is. So I'm going to bend that piece up by using this. Go underneath and push up. <clears throat> because if I come up with this piece like that, I feel like it might slip. Go right through the roof. So, yeah, I'm gonna pull out the jack, set up the cane mine, so you work next. I'm back, I haven't got everything set up, I'm just gonna say something. So I have my bike in here, what not. I gotta get that lawn mow right here. And so that's the plan for probably the next video. Oh, actually. This bike needs to come on this side, and the lawnmower goes right there. But I'm just saying that for the next video. I gotta set this all up, got the jack out and whatnot. Let me get this set up. Okay, <clears throat> I got it jacked up, and I'm gonna stop pushing it up. Um, that's a good spot I can set this. Let's see, I have it up here so you can see that part. Okay, 
Let me go up my okay, Ma. Here. Let me get this sock here. You can hear the whole thing moving. I'm gonna have to go get a bigger jock. I'm gonna go up. Oh! It's really going now. You can really hear it bending now. Almost completely up. This is scary. <laughs> you can really hear it moving. Okay, let me get back to you. Okay, so there's a problem. Shots all the way extended. I need a longer piece of wood. And also, it is bended completely sideways. So, it didn't help. It did help a lot. It's holding it up now. And now I gotta get a piece to come up here. And... Okay, so my camera just had a literally hard to see so just now and I don't know if I just lost some footage or not hopefully not but I'm gonna drop this down and see how far it goes how far it goes down can hear it <laughs> you can really hear it coming down I don't know if you guys can hear that but I can so let me drop it just a little bit Okay, but I dropped it, and that beam, it's still bit like hell right there, mostly now. So I think I'm going to come in more at an angle, like this. So I have it come down, hit right here, bend it into place. But at the moment, that's, that's pretty much bit open. Okay, let me get this piece. Huh. I have to set up properly, but <laughs> the jock's literally on this pile of crap right now. So, yeah, that's all mattresses, so I don't know, but that's how it's set up. So, <sighs> let's see how bad this part goes. So, I'm gonna have to hold, I'm gonna have to hold the cane on this whole time. I'm gonna have to stand for it, but. It is going up, and it is pushing down too, so... Move all that stuff out of the way. Oh, there it goes, popping back into place. Bending it back. Look how much more room it has out there now. Yeah, this bow here... You can really see how much space I lost with it being down. It's not completely done, as you can see. It's a lot better though. A whole of a lot better. But this shot can almost not go up anymore. Oh. That's top, right there. So. And I'm afraid to put a bigger jock up here because I think it's just going to cause problems. But. Yeah. That's pretty bad. 
I just can see right here, you guys can see outside. Right there. Oddly bent to the this, but. It's pretty bent out of shape. So, I think that's the best I'm gonna be able to do. It looks terrible, but let me head outside so I can show you. These are all the two by fours. As you can see, Looks a lot better though, you can see there's a dot drop. There. Also, you can see it right there. It's a lot better. Watch my step getting down now, I'm gonna break an ankle. See what I mean by it's bending it out? This whole part piece being bent. It rests on the middle joist right here. Let me show you. See what I mean? It rests right there. So all that press of this beam coming in is really pushing that out. Oh, it's pushing, pulling it in, depending on how you are. Look at it. I think what I've done here, here let me drop this down so you can see it. Got it loosened. Nope, it's not doing what I wanted it to. Now it did help. It really, really did help. It's just not how I wanted it to. At all. Get back over here. You see that dip. So it looks like I need to come up here with something to hoist that up. Cause this middle joist, it's it's okay. I mean, it's not, but it is. So I think I'm gonna be done because I don't think I actually can do anything much more besides like get two by fours and hold it up with them. Let me tighten this back down. Besides getting like two by fours, like I said, and hoisting it up, but I have no idea. It's it's okay now. It's gonna hold for a little bit, so. Yeah, you can see all the points that it's bent it and made holes. You can see outside there. You can see outside there. There. This side hasn't caved in yet. I don't know why, but this side has, and it's just... I'm happy this side hasn't, guys. This side did. All right here would have been collapsed in. At least this has something to rest on. So, I'll get to you guys in the next video. Peace out.